Hello, hello, you're welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Flora. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I stretch my daughter's type 4 hair by blow drying. So stay tuned. Obviously, we start off with freshly washed hair. This hair was washed the previous night and I put some leave-in conditioner and some shea butter on it and put it into plaits. And so now before we blow dry, I take down each section and I apply heat protectant on the section. I finger detangle it a little bit just, you know, because it, you know, it was previously in plaits and I mean I combed it well before I put it in plaits so it's not so tangled up so but I just use my fingers to kind of you know separate the hair and make sure that the heat protectant is applied on you know all of the hair strands and then I begin to blow dry I'm using this uh, blow dryer called Red by Kiss Handleless that I got from Amazon very affordable and it has three heat settings the high, medium, and I think cool. And um, I am just alternating between the medium and the high heat settings. So I use, I begin with the high heat settings for a few seconds and then I finish off with the medium setting. Just so that I'm not using too much heat. Um, the only takeaway from this really is that you need to work in small sections, you know, it makes it easier. You need to use heat protectant. Um, I've seen some people do dry their hair without heat protectant. I actually went to a, a, a hair salon one time, and that's one of the few times I've ever been to a hair salon. And she told me she was going to blow dry my hair, and she told me that she didn't need to use heat protectant. And I was like, huh, huh? <laughs> I was like, girl, you better. You know, I didn't worry so much because before going there, I actually put heat protectant on my hair. That's how cautious I was. So, <laughs> so even though she didn't put it, I wasn't so worried, right? And you know, when I blow dry, I'm just trying to trim off some of those split, split ends. It's not been that long since I, I trimmed my daughter's hair. So yeah, the ends are not so bad. Uh, and I always do try not to trim too much. I'm just really cautious about that because uh, I don't want to cut off all the length that we've managed to to you know to achieve so I just trim a little bit just to make the ends look neat and then when I'm done move on to the next section and that's pretty much it. that's pretty much it um, I tried to twist uh, each section but because I had trimmed the ends they just kept unraveling <laughs> I've also seen people use other things you know other than heat protectant so not to say that heat protectant is the only way. For me, I don't feel comfortable unless I have a heat protectant, you know, when I'm applying heat. And also, I try to avoid doing this all the time. You know, blow drying is something that I only do occasionally because I know that over when you apply too much heat in your hair, you're eventually going to get some heat damage, even with the heat protectant, right? Especially if you don't do it right. I guess doing it right means maybe don't focus the heat so much on your ends because that's the older part of your hair. So if you subject it to too much heat, it's going to get damaged. It's more, it's more prone to damage than, you know, the, 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 the roots of the hair. So like uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, she's called Green Beauty. She says that when... I mean, her method is she really applies the heat on the roots of her hair and then as she goes lower uh, to the ends, she's not really applying any heat at all. And that's to protect the ends of the hair. So that's what you should do. Don't mind that I wasn't doing that so much here, but I am aware that you want to minimize the, the heat that's going on the ends of the hair. Focus on the roots, right? I really enjoy stretching my hair, you know, seeing it's real length because you know when you have type 4 hair it shrinks a lot so you don't really see your length unless you stretch it like you know hold it down yet the hair always looks like it's short even though yeah but unfortunately because of the dangers of heat damage i don't do it often so maybe i might blow dry i don't know maybe three times in a year 
yeah a lot less actually but yeah maybe when i'm about to do a style that i think will be really good if it's if it's really neat yeah but you know what i've seen people accomplish very neat hairstyles without blow drying their hair so don't ever feel like you have to stretch your hair or blow dry your hair in order to get your style to look nice i've heard how some hairstylists will tell you that when you come into their salon to get your hair done you have to blow dry your hair first it's like a prerequisite or they won't you know they won't attend to you and that's just to me that's just bollocks you know we shouldn't have to stretch our hair if we don't want to if you have type 4 hair you can still achieve beautiful hairstyles without stretching of course there are some styles that <laughs> look nicer when you stretch but you know don't ever feel like you have to do it all the time right protect your hair guys protect your hair there are even heatless ways of you know stretching your hair it doesn't have to be with heat but some people use threading i think i have a video up where i stretch my hair using african threading it's just putting your hair in simple plaits like this it still stretches the hair you see how when i unravel my daughter's hair it looks pretty stretched that's okay so that's enough to accomplish a good hairstyle it doesn't have to to be stretched with heat to get that result you know <music> So that's it for the finished look guys i hope you enjoyed the video my daughter was like mommy can we leave my hair like this <laughs> i just laughed i'm like girl in one hour time you won't even believe that we will dry this hair so please <laughs> so we installed some flat twist and added some mali hair extensions and the video uh, it will be coming right up so feel free to check it out next week thank you so much for watching guys and See you next time.